Hello everyone, so I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you that Mattel is no longer using glue in the heads on Barbies. So recently from eBay, and I'll go over this, I'll go over the lot of dolls I got from eBay recently, but if you saw my Mermaid Fantasy tutorial then, you know that I recently got some dolls from eBay. So here is a reroute candidate. So this is Rainbow White's Mermaid, and as you can see, her hair is pretty thin. They didn't give her very much pink hair, and not only that, the previous owner cut her hair. So I'll be rerouting her with pink, and then I'll give her, like, the majority of her hair will be pink, like, kind of like the color of the crown, and then where the streaks are in her hair is going to be platinum. So I am actually going to cut off her hair. So... Here we go. I'm gonna try to do something fun. I'm gonna try to work around so I can see if I can keep the crown on um, while I'm removing her hair, so. So yeah, I'm not gonna film me actually cutting her hair to the scalp and all that stuff. Just to make the video a little shorter but I will film this. Her hair is pretty strong. These scissors are brand new. I just got them recently. Yeah, also I have to take into consideration that this is saran hair. Okay, there we go. Bam. Oh yeah, see, her saran hair is bad. Like when you get saran hair, when you cut it off and it sticks together like that, it's not very good saran hair. So I'll be back when I have completely buzz cutted her. Okay, and I'm back and here is our finished mermaid. She is completely done and I'm not doing anything else to her. Just kidding. Okay. I'm going to actually manage to buzz cut her around the crown and manage not to take it off, so... I'm gonna see if I can pull out all the hair from inside her head and um, manage to keep the crown intact, but now she's like a butch mermaid. <laughs> she's like a military mermaid. She got her hair buzz cut and she's gonna go fight. And she's gonna blind people with her, her lights. Which by the way, she doesn't have a fin, but that's okay because I'm gonna make her one. So I will be back when I have a utensil to, um, yeah, that just shows you how prepared I am, but I'll have a utensil to remove the hair from inside the head. Okay, and I'm back with her off of her body. And what I'm going to use to get her hair out is a screwdriver. Now, a flathead screwdriver would work best for this, but what you're basically going to do is scrape until all the hair is out. Oh, that's just coming right out. So usually you'll run into trouble if the hair is old fashioned, like stitched in. Oh yeah, you can hear that, how solid that is. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell people what Mattel is doing now instead of glue. I don't know how they're doing, doing it exactly. And I noticed in the 90s they used to do this too but they would stick something red hot inside the head to where it was enough heat to melt all the hair plugs. Now in the 90s, they didn't melt all of them, but most of them. Now these newer dolls, all of the hair plugs have been melted. So if you look on the inside of the head, um, you'll see all these little like knots, like as if somebody rerouted this doll with a knot technique. So yeah, but as you can see, there is no glue in her head at all. Oh my gosh, I'm managing to keep the crown on. Yeah, I've never deplugged one of these that has their hair plugs melted, so... 
This is definitely interesting. But yeah, basically, whenever you get the little, um, when you get the hair out of the head, the leftover hair, each hair plug will have a knot, like a little ball at the end of that, and that is the melted hair, the melted plastic hair. Yeah, see, another reason I'm rerooting her is because they re they rooted her hair really thin, so her hair wasn't as thick as I would like it to be, but her hair is basically going to be the colors that it was, except a lot brighter, and the colors are going to be reversed. So where it was blonde, it's going to be pink, and where it was pink, it was going to be blonde, so. Yeah, the hair plugs are definitely popping out a lot easier. And with these, you should be able to shake them out of her head instead of using tweezers. And then you could also use my method where you you would fill a container with water and then you squeeze the head to get the hair to come out the bottom of the head. Oh yeah. Oh, see that? You just shake the head. You can hear that in there, too. Yep, there's all these, like, plastic knots coming out. And that is the melted hair plugs. And see, the reason Mattel started putting glue in their dolls' heads anyway in the first place is because... Well, the first one, they were actually rooting the dolls traditionally by hand, like they would have the doll head in their hand, and they would put the head up to the rooting machine and root it that way. But it got to where the, the factory's rooting machines weren't doing a good job, and what's supposed to happen, if you've seen rerouting videos, the hair plugs are supposed to be chained together, and it got to where the hair plugs would be just pushed in, like if someone used a rerouting tool. And with a rerouting tool, you have to glue it because it's just free floating inside the head. So nowadays, the hair is rooted in by hand, and as you can see, the spiral motion, how you have these perfect lengths. This hair is basically rooted in by, by machine. So. So what they do is I think they have the head on like something like a metal thing and then it just spins the head around and as it's rooting it in it skips the face and it goes up and gradually you go into this like you can see like the spiral motion on top of the head. Yeah you can see how it's circular. So the machine that actually roots the hair in doesn't secure the hair plugs with the chain. So that's why they started putting glue in the heads is because the machines weren't securing the hair. It was just pushing it in. And they were basically doing like what people do with the rerouting tool. They glue it after. But Mattel, the factories were using the wrong type of glue. Oh, there goes a big clump of hair. See, you don't even need tweezers to get all this hair out. It just, it will fall out. So I basically was able to remove all her hair and keep her crown intact. So if you've ever wondered what a mermaid Barbie looks like with the crown still attached uh, without hair, then there you go. That's, that's what we got. So I will be back when I am done getting all the stuff out of her head. Okay, and I'm back and, oh wait. There was one more in her head. Okay, now her head is empty. So yeah, as you can see, empty. And all I did was simply shake her hair. No tweezers, no water, no nothing. It was that easy. And I'll actually zoom in on... Yeah, you can see, look at that. All these hair plugs have been melted. You can see some of them had actually clumped together. Somebody actually recently deplugged one of these newer dolls. They thought that it was just really thin glue. No, this is, there's no glue in the head whatsoever. What they are doing is melting the hair plugs at the end. 
So they push the hair in. It's a loop of hair, basically, and then they melt the ends of it. I don't know how they do it. It's really weird. They're obviously sticking something hot inside the doll head. And then they're able to melt the hair plugs. So, there is that. And actually, what's interesting is I actually have another Rainbow Lights Mermaid I got in the same lot. She has glue in her head. This is a newer glue, though. This is a newer glue that's like hot glue, like from a glue gun. So it's really squishy and flexible, kind of like vinyl. That's not going to leak the grease and nasty stuff. I have no idea what kind of substance Mattel was using before. But uh, they, have, they had completely done away with that. And now they're not using glue whatsoever in the doll's heads. They are instead melting the hair plugs. So, yep, here is my bald mermaid with her crown still intact. Look at that, look at that. I feel accomplished. And then there's her hair. <laughs> so anyhow, I thought you, uh, or I hope you guys found this video rather enjoyable and interesting. And I'll be sure to post picture, or I'll be sure to post photo, or well, you know what? I will post a link to my Facebook. I have a Facebook, um, and I'll be sure to post. It's kind of a mess right now. I don't really post there that often, but whenever I feel like it, I do. But I will be sure to post a video. There we go. Afterward, showing you her rerouted and everything like that, and I'll show you the, the other dolls that I got. So, anyhow, until that video, remember to stay true to you, and thank you for watching.